Now that summer weather has finally arrived, I've got my eyes set on some summer travel. It's time to make some new friends and reunite with some old ones. This is a runner's weekend in Columbus and Baltimore. You can definitely tell you're in Ohio here. Everything here is Ohio themed, which I feel like everything in Ohio is already Ohio themed. This place takes it to another level, but we are here at The Graduate and uh, it's basically made to look like uh, you're back in college in a good way. Not in the way that college really looked, but in the way that I guess you kind of remember college. Downstairs looks like a really nice fraternity house. Much nicer than any fraternity house that I ever lived in, but it looks nice down there. But this street is awesome. Lots of great stuff going on around here. I've got a couple of hours before uh, I'm gonna head over towards East Market for the Columbus Running Company event. So I am going to get some food and maybe a coffee too. So let's go. I always try to drink local whenever I can. So today I got a Columbus Brewing Company IPA and I paired that with an appetizer of pickled eggs and rosemary remoulade. They looked really strange because of the pickling, but they were delicious. Then I had a margarita pizza, which for some reason was cut into squares. I've never seen that before on a margarita pizza. Definitely seen the Midwest Tavern cut before though. The pizza was really tasty, although the sauce was a little bit too sweet but overall, a fantastic meal. All right, guys, just finished having lunch over at Union Cafe. Really delicious food. I'm very full now. But before I head back to the hotel, I think I saw a really nice coffee shop over here. So I'm gonna grab some coffee and then maybe it's time for some Buckeyes. Alright guys, we are back in the hotel room and now I'm going to try these Buckeyes. Now a Buckeye is actually uh, like a, a tree nut. It comes from the Buckeye tree. I haven't had a Buckeye since the last time I was in Columbus, I think, which was maybe less than 25 years ago, but more than 20. So let's dive into it. These are made to look like the Buckeye nut, the tree nut, but it's ch basically chocolate and peanut butter. Not something that I could eat at home, but since I'm away and traveling, I'm gonna be able to try one of these. So here it is. Yeah, it was pretty tasty. This is really good. I mean, chocolate and peanut butter, a delicious combination. That's what I got going on. We'll see how many of these are left by tomorrow. Just got dropped off by the Uber in East Market. I think it's like a new redevelopment thing they got going on. And already I could see the van. Thank you to everyone who came out tonight to join us for our walk and run with A6 and the Uplift Tour. I see people who run and walk with different Columbus running company groups. I see people connected to both Columbus East Side and West Side Run Clubs, German Village Walk Club, Black Girls Run, all kinds of different clubs and groups represented. 
and uh, obviously lots of other people who are just here to uh, experience this and to take part with us. Uh, my name is Kofuzi. Uh, uh, thanks everyone for coming out. Uh, just talking about all like local run crews, and I think what's amazing about the running community is that someone like me can come to another city and find other runners and have something in common and be able to come out and share my own with a group of strangers and hopefully by the end of the month we will all be friends so I'm really excited for that and I can't wait to share some laughs with you guys and hopefully take some selfie after that. <laughs> <laughs>that we had planned for the day was a two mile loop through Franklin Park in Columbus and people could run it twice if they wanted to make it four which is what I did it was a beautiful little park to run in lots of great people to run with and lots of great scenery to take in as well as we meandered through the park after the run we made it over to the Rail House Bar where I got another Columbus Brewing Company beer, the Bodhi, which is very delicious. The exact type of beer that I want to be drinking in the summer. I may have had a couple of these on this evening. Overall, it was really great to be able to connect with people, some who I had met before in other cities and some who I had met for the first time. A great way to kick off my first stop with the ASICS Uplift Tour. I'm exhausted because I just got here from the airport, but I'm glad to be here. What a great turnout. You know Ben last time you're here, right? <laughs> yeah. But I'm at the same time. What's going on? How are you? How's it going? Good to see you. When did you get in? Just now. Just now. Just yeah. straight here? And yeah, yeah. so there we were not even 30 minutes from when I had gotten out of an hour and a half Uber ride and after an hour long flight we were off and running but even as much as my legs felt terrible it was great to be able to run with some old friends again and taking some new routes in Baltimore. Brandon was running in the Nova Blast 3s which is the same shoe that I've been running in and I gotta tell you I absolutely love these shoes it's going to be the shoe of the year. Finally, after about three miles, my legs were starting to finally feel good again, and now I was ready for some Mobtown beers. Mobtown had made two special brews for the evening, a Sour Girl and a Crispy Boy Lager. Personally, I thought the sour was pretty good, but I really enjoyed the icy coldness of the lager, and it was a great drink to have as the block party heated up.
After the block party wrapped up, a bunch of us headed over to Thomas and Megan's house. Thomas, let me have a beer out of his special cup. And then we went downstairs and waxed nostalgic about all the shoes we used to love. Then everyone wanted to get cleaned up before dinner, so I tried to check into my hotel, but it still wasn't ready even at four o'clock in the afternoon. Fortunately for me, there was a Whole Foods nearby, so I took a quick lap through the hot bar and found a way to keep myself occupied until my room was finally ready. Not long after that, the room was ready, so I was able to take a shower, take a quick power nap, and then head out to dinner. When you're in Maryland, you gotta get the seafood. Today we were at Mama's on the Half Shell. We started off with some oysters. I hadn't had oysters in a really long time, and this was really refreshing to eat. It was just so good to be able to sit down and share a meal with some other running nerds. We talked all things running and shoes and social media, making big plans for the future, and also talking a lot of nonsense, both equally important. For dinner, I had the crab cake sandwich, and it was absolutely delicious. The fries are also really good here in Baltimore. I'm not sure what it is, but the fries are always cooked to perfection, giving them a very nice and satisfying crunch. After dinner, we walked over a couple of blocks to what I was told is a neighborhood institution, the Waltz Inn, which is a local dive bar, which features karaoke and a two drink minimum. Thankfully, my flight to Chicago the next morning wasn't too early, so I was able to sleep in a little bit and get started on editing this video. I checked out of the hotel and remembered that this place has free breakfast. So I got some scrambled eggs and some home fries and I realized why the potatoes here are always so good. It's the Old Bay seasoning. It just makes everything delicious. After breakfast, I got an Uber and headed to the airport where I got myself a Dunkin' Donuts coffee and waited for my flight getting a little bit more work in. And it occurred to me that this week, I didn't have a race that I went to go watch. I didn't go and run a race myself, but yet I still had a really great runner's weekend. And it made me realize that even for someone that's as introverted as I am, it's really good to get out there and be around other people. People that you may have known for a while, people that you may have just met there's just something about running in a group that's really good for you. You don't have to go to a race or to travel to an event to be able to have that kind of feeling. You could do this right in your own backyard. Find a running club or just call up your friends. Even if they're not runners, whatever they think that might mean, take them out for a run and share some miles. I promise you won't regret it. Yo, what's going on?